Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for October 2nd of 2024 is titled The Large Magellanic Cloud Galaxy. So what do we see here? Well, this is the galaxy known as the Large Magellanic Cloud and one of the smaller galaxies within our local group. Well, not the smallest, but it's not one of the big three spiral galaxies. It is a satellite galaxy of our own Milky Way. So what does that mean? Well, it actually orbits around the Milky Way, much as planets orbit around the sun. And here we can see some of the structures to it. And in fact, you can see that it might almost look in some ways like a spiral galaxy. We can see a distinct central bar going through it and a single spiral arm kind of twirling out from the edge. So it's an interesting type of gal of galaxy that we see here. Now, we also see within it the signs of star formation. And those are primarily the blue color from star clusters, very young stars that have formed, and the pink color of hydrogen gas when it is excited by those hot young stars. Now those are the same kinds of things that we see within our own Milky Way. So we see those in star forming regions, but the large star forming region here, the Tarantula Nebula as it is known, is actually the most active star forming region within the entire local group of galaxies, which is a group of about 40 or 50 galaxies of which our Milky Way and the Andromeda galaxy are a part. Now the large Magellanic cloud is also well known for having certain types of variable stars in it. Well, these are present in other galaxies as well. But because it is closer, we were able to use the variables known as Cepheid variables and to determine that there was a relationship between the period of a variable star, a Cepheid variable, how often it changes in brightness and its luminosity. And that allows us to calibrate and determine a distance. So we can do that with things like the Large Magellanic Cloud, and then we can expand that outward to more distant galaxies where these types of variables are visible. And because distances are one of the harder things to determine in astronomy, that is one of our key stepping stones to be able to build up to determining distances to some of the most distant galaxies. So you've got to start with small steps in determining distances, first looking at things within our own galaxy, then moving on to look at other galaxies, and then finally to the most distant galaxies and build those on a distance ladder one step at a time or one rung at a time to be able to determine distances. And the large Magellanic cloud that we see today is helps us get one of those early steps to get us out to galactic distances. So that was our picture of the day for October 2nd of 2024. It was titled The Large Magellanic Cloud Galaxy. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.